It is great to be here. Say hello to my wife, Cindy. We're privileged to be here. What a great opportunity to be able to welcome the next President of the United States to our, our to Idaho. Mitt Romney, it, you know, we've learned a lot about Mitt Romney and his qualifications, what he's done in business, what he did to turn around the Olympics, uh, what he did as the governor in, uh, in the state of Massachusetts. One thing we haven't talked a lot about is the amazing things that he accomplished as governor uh, of Massachusetts when it comes to education. When he left the state of Massachusetts, the students were performing number one in the nation, and they still are today. <laughs> governor Romney accomplished this by expanding choice for parents, raising standards, and increasing accountability, and today, if Massachusetts was a country by itself, it would rank 17th in the world on how its students are performing academically. That's the kind of president that we need uh, to help us move education forward, not just in Idaho, but across the country. So it is my pleasure uh, to stand before you and introduce to you and ask you to give him a great Idaho welcome, the next president of the United States. Instead, he doubled it. 
With a government that's more and more intrusive, taking more and more of what we earn. And that's, by the way, the, the president, I think, wants to fundamentally transform America. I, I don't want to transform America. I want to restore to America the principles that made us the hope of the earth in the first place. I love this great country. When, when, the, when the founders of this country drafted the Declaration of Independence and wrote the Constitution, I believe they were not just brilliant but inspired. And those documents laid out a path for America that was unique in the world. And that path was that we were endowed by our Creator with unalienable rights. Not the state, not the king, our Creator gave us those rights. And among those rights are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. We would be free in this country, we would be free in this country to pursue happiness as we choose. To choose our course in life. And by virtue of those freedoms, People for hundreds of years have come here, the pioneers, the innovators, the freedom seekers. This is what made America what we are. I don't think President Obama understands that. I want to restore that passion for individualism, for innovation, for pioneering, for freedom.
helping the American people, using every ounce of my experience and my passion for this country to get America working again with rising incomes and a bright future. I'm in this race in part because I have a wife who told me I needed to get into it again. We needed a president that knew how to get this economy working for the American people. So we need three things. Three things. More jobs. Less debt. Smaller government. More jobs. Less debt. Smaller government. We're going to get this country going again. With your help, we're going to keep